Hi, Sagittarius. Okay, the first two cards selected is the awareness for the week. And so we have the Four of Cups and we have Justice, the Major Arcana. So the Four of Cups, we see the young man sitting beneath the tree, head down, besides the three cups near him. He is not seeing the puff cup being offered to him, you know, missing this opportunity. Often when we think of the Four of Cups, it brings to mind a sense of feeling maybe bored or dissatisfied or uh, simply uh, feeling that there's no excitement or energy within your life at this present time. And it can lead to feeling stagnant. Often we may associate the word of sulking or pouting perhaps, but really there's a sense here of taking time out to reflect and to think about things. And, you know, you've got your head down, you may be just in a low spot and, um, perhaps things aren't quite working out with the job or within a relationship or with a health plan maybe that you've been following. And so you can feel discontent. You can feel a little um, unmotiv- unmotivated, perhaps. So here's this sense of discontent, and then we have justice. And justice, we see the woman here holding the scales of justice and the very sharp uh, sword. And she's looking straight at us. And justice deals with doing the right thing, having integrity, making decisions that are fair, reasonable, and balanced, and that are equitable for all. So you may be feeling discontent about something within your life that maybe you perceive is unfair or inequitable, you know, where maybe you're having to do more of, uh, more work or more contributions than a partner, than a teammate, whatever it may be. And so here's this idea of fairness, of equity, of doing things um, fairly. So your awareness for the week is to think about the relationships. Do you feel that you're being treated fairly? Are you witnessing that? Are you a part of that? Or is there something not quite right that's causing this little um, feeling of, of uh, dissatisfaction? And so there are ways to deal with it. There's, you know, be honest, have a um, courageous conversation. If you try, if you could try to make things better. On a literal note, this could suggest having to pay attention to legal documents and, you know, maybe paying a traffic fine or having a court appearance or something that's going to require you to pay attention to contract documents, what you're signing your name to, the legality of it. So in terms of guidance, we have the seven of pentacles and we have the three of cups. And the seven of pentacles, we see the guy taking a break from his work. Here he's been taking care of this pentacle bush. He has been feeding it, probably watering it, you know, watching it grow, doing all the things that you need to do in order for it to flourish, for it to be ripe. And he is taking a time out and he may be thinking, when is this darn bush going to be ready? This is taking forever. I'm losing patience with this. Uh, What am I spending all my time doing this for? So that's one way to think about this card, taking the time out and you're, you're just feeling impatient. You're feeling like this is taking forever. Another way to look at the seven of pentacles is sometimes you have to take a break from the physical labor in order to think about what you're doing. Are you doing a good enough job? Do you need to change something up? Do you need to change your system or your approach to make it go faster or to become more efficient? 
So the seven of pentacles is the idea that you have to nurture and take care of your ideas or your projects or your relationship. You are putting in the time and the effort and the energy and the, and the resources in order for this to be a beautiful pentacle bush that's going to, where you're going to be reaping the rewards from it. Seven of pentacles is very, very close to 10. You're almost there. So you really have to decide, are you this dissatisfied in doing uh, this work here to get to this, uh, the bounty of the seven of pentacles, the, the pentacle bush. The good news is that Lots of hard work here, taking a break from the hard work, ideas of equity or fairness, maybe feeling dissatisfied is that you do have an opportunity to get together with friends or family or coworkers to talk things through, to share, to listen, to celebrate, to let your, leave your troubles behind, you know, start fresh, uh, be grateful for the company. There's a lot of festivity. It's a festive get together. It's a fun time to raise a glass, to have the closeness of comrades, of the camaraderie. So the three of cups, uh, possible social, uh, interaction this week for you. Maybe you have plans on the books. Maybe it'll be spontaneous. Maybe this type of movement here requires a, a, uh, phone call to say, hey, let's get together. I could use some friend time. I could use some support. I could use uh, the opportunities to chat and to release some things. So possibilities for social, um, you know, engagements. terms of possible outcomes, we have the magician and we have the seven of rods. So the magician, major arcana, we see the magician here revealing his chest, confidence, you know, raising his wand and he's got his beautiful red cape here, the passion of his life. The passion of his life is taking all of these tools and using them in just the right way in order to manifest or to, to create the life that he wants. So this is a direct message to you, which is to understand what your strengths are, your talents, your abilities, all the things that you can do and marry that with the passions that you have of having them work together so that whatever you've been visualizing, whatever you've been hoping for that you can make this something, uh, you know, a part of your life where you are able to feel fulfilled and to feel the magic that life is. You are the magician. You have the ability to blend and to mix and to find the right mix in your life to create and to, you know, uh, to make your intentions become real. But you have to take action and you have to have faith in yourself and your abilities. And so interestingly enough with the two sevens here, here's the seven of pentacles taking a break. Here's the seven of rods. The seven of rods character is um, pushing back the people below who are, who are raising their rods to him. So he has the advantage here. But it's still, it's the, it's the action of having to defend or protect. You may have people who don't agree with some of your decisions. You may have people who don't agree with your desire to manifest. You know, maybe you want to learn how to play the tuba. And you're going to devote all your energy to becoming the finest tuba player in your community. And, you know, could be someone saying, why are you wasting your time? Why are you doing something like that? And you know, we all hear the naysayers and the doubters, but if it's your thing, if you're, it's your passion to become a great musician, then 
you know, it's up to you to follow it through. And yes, you have to protect yourself. You have to defend your ideas. It's a part of the routine that we have, the daily life of having to do so. So it's an interesting spread here because of with the fairness, the hard work, and this four of cups, which is this discontent, you know, all roads lead to the magician. And the magician is about taking control, understanding what you, your talents are and making the most of them with support of friends and maybe inspiration from friends as well. So let's see what we have in terms of an affirmation for the week. Gates of triumph, success expands in your life. And so perhaps it takes reflection, time out to think about things in order to get yourself on the right path so that you can walk through this gate into the sunshine, into um, the passions of your life. And now let's choose an oracle card for love. Peacefulness. We recognize that balance, kindness, and love bring calmness to your soul. So finding peacefulness among all of the daily wear and tear and the taking the action to manifest again it's the balance within life which is to keep moving forward and at the same time you know try to stay calm try, try to be present try to show love try to receive love all of these things it's a full-time job isn't it well my Sagittarius friends, I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below, and I look forward to seeing you next week, and I hope that you have a fantastic week. Take care.